and we are going to do three different colors of corn. The first one is um, going to be red and then blue and then yellowish orange. So you're not going to need to mix anything to start with. You're just going to get um, some water in your red and we're just going to paint the corn. And it doesn't really matter. Um, you don't even want this super dark um, because this is just going to get all those nooks and crannies where um, there might be some space in between your kernels. And just be careful not to get your um, corn husk. I'm just going to paint the whole thing and we're going to let it sit for a second. That way when we go back in and um, actually paint the individual kernels, um, we're not going to have to worry about having white space in between. Because I don't know about you, but I've never seen white space in between my kernels. Just make sure to use enough water, but not so much that it's going to want to drip everywhere. And I would recommend if you are left handed, I would start on the right and then work to the left. And it's okay if your, um, your corn is kind of the opposite color of mine, um, because that way you won't drag the um, wet paint across. I'm right-handed, so I like to start on the left so that I don't do that. Now we're gonna go um, to the middle And this one's gonna be blue. So I'm just gonna take some blue. These are kind of our primary colors. And I'm only painting the kernels. Now, if it's really light, that is more than fine because um, we are going to go back in and color all of these individually. This is just your base color. You just want to make sure you got them all covered and make sure you really rinse out your brush otherwise you're gonna get um, green right now and you are going to take your third primary color which is yellow and the base color on this corn is just gonna be yellow I say base color because we are going to add other colors to it. Um, 
but this is just the starting point. Okay, I have my red, blue, and yellow corn painted. So I'm gonna let that um, dry just for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna work on the husks. So I'm gonna set this to the side, and I'm gonna show you how to prepare to make the husks. I like to use my uh, tray to mix. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with some yellow. And I'm going to add in some brown. And it's going to make kind of a golden brown color. This is going to be the color of my husks. Now, thinking about the shadow again. When something is in shadow, you're going to want to use more of the straight brown color. When it is closer to um, being in the light, you're gonna to wanna to use a lighter version of this and maybe even more on the yellow side. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take a little bit of this golden brown color and I'm just gonna paint it over the top of this um, piece of the husk. Now I chose this one because it's not touching any of my kernels because my uh, kernels are still a little bit wet and I don't want these colors to bleed together. If you wanna do this on another piece of paper or a placemat so that you don't get your mom and dad's table wet, um, that might be a good idea. So I just painted that, it's kind of boring. It's just one color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of just straight brown and I'm gonna add some of it in closer to where this falls into shadow. And then it's gonna make it appear like this is a little bit darker and I can even add a little bit of brighter yellow to the tip. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep doing that on a lot of these Um, different husks. Heavier on the brown where it overlaps and then more just yellow or a lighter version of this um, yellow brown mixture where um, it comes into the light. All right. Go 
ahead and paint away. All right, now that your uh, husk is finished, I would make sure to wait until your kernels are dry before uh, starting on the next step. All right, as we prepare to 
color in the uh, kernels of corn, I want to show you how to uh, mix up some of the colors we're going to use. So um, I'm going to start on the left with the red and I'm going to take some red and I'm also going to mix in some orange, make this nice reddish orange color, which I can also use for my um, yellow orange corn. And um, I'm going to take some more red and I'm going to make a red and purple mixture. It's a nice purple and red color. Okay. So those are just a couple of the colors that we're going to use. And I, um, I wouldn't use too much water, at least to start with. So you might want to dab your brush. And we're going to go through, I'm going to start with this uh, yellow or orange red color. And I'm just going to touch a couple of the um, kernels and I just find some random kernels and with just the tip of my brush I'm going to start coloring them in. Now this might be kind of hard to see because it's already red to begin with. You can do um, two or three in a row or you can just do some singles. Could even do a couple of L shapes and you just want to add a little bit of a vibrant color. Now that you have some orange, reddish orange, you can go back and grab just some regular straight red and do the same thing. You can always go back later and uh, do some more, um, but I'm going to move on to our next color, which is going to be this uh, reddish purple. And I'm going to do the same thing. And you do want this to come out uh, fairly vibrant, so if it's starting to look really pale, just uh, grab some more paint on your brush. And just keep working to fill in those kernels. Now, you can even do a few that are a little bit more purple, like a darker purple. I would 
shouldn't do too many. Now I'm going to go back and do some more in the um, red-orange mixture. And I'm kind of going to repeat the cycle. Now I left just a few at the end and what I'm going to do is I am going to take some blue and mix it with just a little bit of red. And then I'm going to paint those. and they will um, hopefully be the darkest ones. So just do it on like five or six. Just these little pops of red, blue. Okay, I might be doing more than just a few because I made my, um, I don't know, did like eight of them because I made my um, kernels really small. Okay, now we're going to move on to the middle, the blue one. And I can just take a lot of the same colors that I already have mixed. I'm going to use this red blue and this purple and even a little bit of the um, red purple. Uh, but I'm going to start with just a regular old blue. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the last one where I'm going to go through And I'm going to paint just a few kernels at a time. Going through, doing some chunks, two, three, maybe four at the most. Now I'm going to always come back to that later. And um, now I'm going to do some of this blue-red mixture that I made for my last one. And it's kind of going to be a blue-purple color.
Now this takes some patience, so if you start getting tired, take a break. Now I'm going to go through and I am going to use some of my straight purple. And now I'm going to take some of that red and purple mixture that I uh, made for the last one. And you're just gonna keep filling this in with variations of blue and purple and red. And again, just like we did last time, leave a couple at the end and I will um, have you mix up a special color for those. Okay, go ahead, paint away. Okay, if you can take um, your blue and add just the tiniest bit of black to it, it'll make this really dark navy blue color. And you just want to use it on a couple of these kernels. Okay, you're going to really want to make sure your brush is clean. All right, in your um, lid, you are going to mix up some yellow mixed with orange. So you're gonna get this 
pretty yellow orange color and you should already have some red orange mixed up and if you don't make sure you um, mix some more okay I'm gonna start with just my yellow orange and I'm gonna go through and I'm going to find a few of the kernels that I can add this color to. So now I'm gonna take just straight orange I can also go in and just do some in straight yellow. Okay, I'm gonna come back in with some of my um, yellow, I mean red and orange. I'm not gonna do too many. I'm gonna get some of these last few with um, that yellow-orange mixture. Making sure I don't have any um, left that are just washed out. And finally, I am going to take a little bit of this purple red that I used um, for my very first one. And I am gonna go in and just pick out a couple kernels and I'm going to make those this red purple and it's really going to stand out because all the other ones are so light. And there you have it, your Thanksgiving Indian corn. I hope you enjoyed this uh, art tutorial. Tune in next time. All right.